Hello, I'm Carl Zielinski. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Odin programming language from source. Now, Odin is a modern alternative to C that I personally have used to create video games. And we are setting it up from source so that you can always get the latest version of the compiler without having to rely on the monthly releases. And as we see at the end, it will also make it slightly easier to update the compiler. So let's jump into the first step here. Install Visual C++ Compiler plus Windows SDK. The Odin compiler is written in C++, so in order to compile it, we need a C++ compiler. Also, in order to actually run the Odin compiler later, you also need the linker from Visual Studio C++ Compiler and the Windows SDK, so we get all those things at once here. If you already have Visual Studio with C++ support installed, then you can probably skip this first step. So what we will do is pop open a web browser. If you do not have the whole Visual Studio installed, then you probably don't even want it or need it. What we're going to do instead is install what's called the Visual Studio build tools, which is only the compiler and the things needed to build the C++ code without installing the whole Visual Studio editor. So what we will search for here on the internet is Visual Studio build tools. And then you probably get some result like download Visual Studio tools and you click that. And then you probably have to scroll down a bit all the way to tools for Visual Studio. And you expand that and scroll down to build tools for Visual Studio 2022. I will put a link to this specific thing in the description of this video. So let's download that. So we got this uh, VS build tools exe file here. Let's run that. And in the installer, you will be met with this thing where you click continue and it gets some stuff ready for you. And eventually you will end up at a screen like this. And this is where you need to uh, select the desktop development with C++ alternative to get the C++ compiler. So when you click that, you see that some things are marked in the right side here. Uh, the MSVC package here contains the C++ compiler and it also contains the linker that you need to run the Odin compiler later and then you also get the SDK so we get all those things. There are also some additional things that you can probably uncheck if you don't want them but I'm gonna leave them as they are and then you can click the install button down here and now you just have to wait a while. And now that it's done we can close the Visual Studio installer. So now we need to get hold of the Odin source code and compile that using our brand new Visual C++ compiler. But before we can get the Odin source code, we should install Git. Git is a version control system that programmers use to upload their code to the internet and collaborate on it. But we will just install it so that we can easily download the Odin source code and later also update it. If you already have Git installed on your computer, then you can skip this step. So what you need to do is pop open a web browser and then you go to git-scm.org and then you scroll down to downloads, click that and select download for Windows. And then you can choose a 64-bit Git for Windows setup. It will download some stuff for you. You run that installer and then you get to the Git installer that looks like this. And here you just need to click next through all these things. The default install location is fine. All these default options are fine. And then you let it install. And when that is done, you can uncheck view release notes and click finish. So now that we have Git installed, we need to fetch the Odin source code and we will do that using Git. And the way we find the URL of where the source code is, is by going to the GitHub page of the Odin compiler project. So we pop open a web browser, then we go to odin-lang.org and then we click the GitHub link in the top right corner here. And then we get to this GitHub page and on here is the source code for the whole Odin compiler. But what you need to do is click the code button here and then just copy the URL here. You can copy it using this copy URL to clipboard button. Then you can close the web browser. So we will now use Git to download a local copy of the Odin compiler source code. This is referred to as cloning the Odin Git repository. And we will do that from the command prompt. And we will open a special command prompt that from which we can use, both use Git and we also have access to the Visual C++ build tool stuff. 
So you find that stuff by popping open the start menu and then you type x64 native tools and you see it highlights this one x64 native tools command prompt for VS 2022. This is a special command prompt, like I said, that has access to the usual stuff that the command prompt has access to, but it also has access to the Visual Studio compiler. So we run that. And this command prompt looks like this. Now we need to put the Odin compiler source code somewhere and I will just navigate to the root directory of the hard drive. So I write cd backslash to get here. And from here I can write git space clone space and then right click to paste the URL from the Odin GitHub. This will clone it into a subdirectory. So the Odin source code will end up in C colon backslash Odin. So we can press enter to do that. And once that is done, you then have an Odin directory that you can navigate into. So you can write CD space Odin. And when you're in this directory, you can now build the Odin compiler from source by writing build space release. This builds the Odin compiler in release mode. Release meaning that you get a fast optimized compiler. If you omit the word release, you get a debug version of the compiler that is slightly slower. So you just press enter and wait. And when that is done, you can close this command prompt. If you want to, you can now navigate to C colon Odin and see all the Odin stuff in here, but you will also see the odin.exe. And this is the Odin compiler executable that you just built, so everything looks good. What you need to do now is add the Odin compiler to the path. This makes it possible to find the Odin compiler no matter where you are on the computer. So we can run it from a command prompt or from within a code editor. So in order to do that, you open the start menu again and you type environment and it should probably highlight edit system and environment variables. So you press enter to run that one. And in this window, you click environment variables. And in here is a list of all the environment variables and we are interested in the path. So we select that and click edit. And inside this window, we click new. And then we can just type C colon backslash Odin here. And then we can click OK. And then we can click OK here. And then we can click OK here. With all that done, you should now have a working Odin compiler. So let's test it. What we will do is just write a tiny, tiny Odin program, compile it and run it. And you can do this in any text editor you like. I will use Sublime Text, which is the program you've been staring at this whole time. I can leave a link to Sublime Text in the video description. But what we'll do here is we will just write, this is the simplest Odin program you can write essentially. We write package hello world. And then we write uh, import core colon FMT. This imports some stuff in order to print just hello to the screen. And then we make uh, the main procedure, which is where the program starts like this main colon colon proc, some parentheses, some curly braces. And then we can write FMT dot print LN hello world like that. And then we save this file somewhere. I will go to the C drive. I will make a folder called code and then I will go inside code and I will make a new folder called hello world. It is important that for each Odin program you make, you put it in its own subfolder because the Odin package system is organized by folders. And then we name this file hello world.odin and click save. Now we need to compile and run this program and we will do that from the command prompt. Please open a new command prompt if you didn't close the old one because the path uh, variable won't be updated unless you restart programs anyways. So we go to the start menu again and we can use the same x64 native tools command prompt. And then we navigate to cd backslash code backslash hello underscore world, which is where we saved our Odin code. And then we can write Odin run period. This will compile everything in this directory as a single package and then run it and we press enter and see what happens. It says hello world. This means that the Odin compiler is working. It compile our program for us and then run it. Very good. The last step here says how to update compiler. And this is one of the strengths of using the source version of the compiler. What we do is we just navigate with CD backslash Odin. So we get to the Odin 
directory again. And then we just write git space pull and we press enter. There's probably no changes now, but if there were some changes up on the git repository, you would now get them. And after you've done that, you just write build release again, hit enter. And when it is done, then you now have an updated Odin compiler. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and happy programming.